let us introduce you to Andy Wittmann. Whether it's dirt jumping, slope style, downhill, or free riding, he is one of the best free ride mountain bikers this sport has ever seen. A role model for young guns, host of his own event, and a maniac on two wheels. He's uh, definitely a trick machine. He's really good in big bike riding. He sucks at picking up women, but he's my wingman. We ride together, we die together. Like, he loves biking so much. He pushes himself really hard. Even though he's injured sometimes, he just gets back out and tries his new stuff. Well, he's uh, one of my best friends for sure, and we hang out for ages together, and we build tracks together, so um, he's more the optimistic kind of guy, and I'm more the pessimistic kind of guy, so the mixture is perfect between us. But every star has to rise, and in this case you can really talk about talent because Andy Wittman started biking kind of late to be a prodigy at the age of 17, but his skills went through the roof. I started mountain biking because, yeah, friends of mine started biking and they started just riding in our hometown and I saw it and I was like, hey, maybe I should try it. And it's a completely different sport like all the normal ones as fo football, soccer or whatever. And yeah, so I started it and it was lots of fun. It's just fun in the beginning, very soon became a profession. Just three years later in 2007, Andy appeared in the rankings of well-known contests. Later, he won the best trick at the Vienna Air King in 2010 and the King of the Dirt stop in Riva del Garda in 2012. In 2013, he made the impossible possible by setting a new world record for the highest whip that was ever jumped on a mountain bike. He set the bar at 5.60 meters. So Andy, with all you've accomplished in such a short time, what's the best part about it all? For me, the most amazing feelings during riding my bike is really stomping some tricks. For example, this year when I did the hip flip and you're overhead and you don't know is it right or not? <laughs> and then you have the moment where you can spot the landing and you see it's working perfect and then like this adrenaline comes into you. It's, it's just amazing. It's not easy learning such dangerous tricks and especially not easy adding new ones to your quiver. But Andy found a way by having a practice partner from a totally different sport. Um, well, I met Andy Wittmann a couple years ago. Um, we figured we just went to a trampoline hall together and I showed him some tricks which I do on skis, a cork seven for example. And so I learned him a cork seven on trampoline and then I went with him to a, to a bike hall where we hit the foam pit and he learned me a backflip on a bike and I helped him to learn a cork seven to the foam pit on a bike and it's just really fun. Like, you just feed, feed off each other really of different sports. That's a cool thing. And what Andy gets from the sport, he wants to give back. So in 2011, he built a gigantic track with a massive jump that looks like a castle. And he invites the best freeride mountain bikers from around the globe for his famous Nine Nights session. Fiat Nine Nights is all about having good times with your friends, riding the, the setups and yeah, push the limits, do new tricks, do high airs, like ride sick trains with your friends and produce really, really nice media output. The Nine Nights event is not just about the best of the best. Andy also invites young guns and prodigies to support their careers and give them a chance to learn from the pros. Yeah, for me, it's really important to, to promote the, the younger guys and give them a chance because the, the contest world in mountain bike freeriding is pretty tough. We have the Freeride Mountain Bike World Tour and if you're not really into it and riding every event, you it's, I think, pretty hard to get a chance to get in there. And so they have another way to, to, to show what they can do, what they're able to do on their bike. So they have a chance to become big names in the mountain bike scene one day like their host. So what's in store for Mr. Wittmann in the future? I'm lucky that I can do what I want and I love my job. And yeah, I hope that the Nine Nights thing is continuing and it's lots of fun doing that event. And yeah, that's a good combination in riding and organizing things. 
And when Andy Vitman has his hands in the pie, it's a guarantee for success. So when he gets his hands dirty next time, you can be sure we'll be there to tell you about it. <laughs>